Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. John Kelly, profiler here, and welcome. Welcome today. Uh, we're going to be having a chat, hopefully, with the killer of uh, Rachel Morin. I'm hoping uh, he'll tune in. In fact, I know he'll probably tune in because that's what they do. I mean, they look anywhere and everywhere they can, especially online, for anything at all that's going on with their case. That's just what they do. Uh, they try to stay on top of the investigation and find out uh, how close law enforcement is to them. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a chat with him. But first, I want to send out condolences and sympathies, your deepest sympathies to Rachel Morin's family and friends, all her children. My God, horrible uh, what took place. But that's, you know, that's uh, what happens when you run into a killer. Or you run into uh, somebody that, um, you know, will just uh, turn around and, uh, you know, kill you. You know, you just become objectified. You know, you're not even a person anymore. And uh, they will kill you. This type of guy will. Law enforcement has had it out there that uh, people have to be on their guard because he will probably kill again. And... Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. We'll get to that. First, I would like to thank everybody for purchasing my book, Discovering Lazarus, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly of John Kelly, How I Kicked a Horrendous Drug Addiction, Cocaine Addiction, Moved On, I got into uh, becoming a counselor, moved on from being a counselor into a profiler, psychotherapist and profiler. And it's all right here. Thank you for all your kind comments, for all your feedback, for all your purchases. Can't thank you enough for buying Discovering Lazarus. So with that being said, and uh, we want to get down to business now. And to get to business, we have to talk to the killer. Hello, Mr. Killer. You know, I want to tell you, as you just heard me mention with my book, and I'm recovering from an addiction as well, cocaine addiction. I've got to tell you something that you are addicted to having power, control, and sexual dominance over a woman. You're addicted to it. Okay. There's no, no two ways about it. All right. And you know what it's like when you get that urge. When you get that urge to act out and you find a victim. And you start to create the fantasy in your mind, which usually never works out the way you figured it out in your mind, the way you perfected it in your mind. It never, never will work out perfectly. I'll tell you that right now. Don't take my word for it. I mean, I have interviewed a number of serial killers and the fantasy just never works out perfect. Never does. Okay. So you're in a situation where you're addicted and you're getting these urges. You're addicted to having this power control and sexual dominance over women, even if it means killing. Is that part of the uh, sexual ritual or is that victim disposal? I don't know. I don't know. Only you know. You're the boss here. You know that. Okay. Uh, last time I was not talking to you, I told you that they would probably have your DNA. They do have your DNA now, but they don't know who you are. So they say. I mean, they're not going to tell me if they know who you are. They're not going to tell you if they know who you are, right? They're just going to come and get you, okay, as soon as they figure that out. But the bottom line is, I mean, do you want to continue with this horrifying addiction? You're addicted to murdering women, okay, to having this, this, this violent control over women. And once you get that urge... You're on your way. You know it as well as I do. You're anticipating the stalk and hunting and then the conquest. So how long do you want to see yourself doing that? Don't you want to see yourself stopping? Don't you want to see yourself changing? I mean, look at you, okay? There are millions of people out there right now. You know you've seen the headlines, okay? They want to hear your side of the story. They're looking at you. They want to hear from you. What happened on that trail exactly? Okay? Because there's people saying different things. 
Only you know, and only law enforcement knows. You specifically are the boss here in knowing what exactly what happened. So the question is, what do you want to do? Do you want to wait until you act out again? I mean, you know as well as I do, if you run enough red lights, sooner or later you're going to get caught. Same thing here. You can't control these urges. You see yourself acting out. You see yourself getting arrested. You know, you do what you want to do, okay? But the bottom line is, you know, eventually you're going to get caught. And then you're going to pay a much, much steeper price. There's no question about it. Right now, people are looking for you. They're looking to hear from you. They want your feedback on this. They want to know what happened out there. Okay? And all you got to do is call law enforcement up, get in touch with law enforcement, and tell them you want to surrender. And they're going to take you in peacefully. Okay, and there's not going to be any smashing through of homes or anything else. They're going to take you peacefully if you're a man of your word. You know, do you see yourself being a man of your word? Do you see yourself wanting to give yourself up? Do you see yourself realizing that you have this illness, that you're a very sick man and you cannot control this sexual addiction, this addiction to not only sex, but to violence? which in this case ended up in murder. I mean, so what do you want to do? Do you want to wait until it's too late? Or do you want to be smart? You're obviously not a stupid person. You're a smart person. Do you want to be smart and give yourself up now? Get it over with. Get it done with. You could could be a real resource for everybody in the country so they could understand you and learn from you on why this happens. They could study you. I mean, why this has happened? How does somebody get an addiction to sexual violence and dominance and even murder? Okay? That is the question. And a lot of people want that question answered. You're in a position, you're young enough, you can get involved in this right now, and you can end this. Because you know you're going to act out. when you Sooner or later, again, you're going to act out. Law enforcement knows that they're warning people already to be on, on the lookout. They're warning people to, uh, you know, stay on their toes because they're afraid of you and afraid you're going to kill again. In fact, they're saying you could kill again. You probably will kill again. You're early on in the cycle. Okay. The cycle goes from 25 to 35 and up. You're probably somewhere between, as law enforcement said, early 20s, something like that. So it's early on for you. Turn it over. Turn it around now. Stop it. Stop it. And 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 if you want me to meet up with law enforcement, to help you come in, to turn yourself in, I'll be more than happy to do it. You know how to contact me. I have no doubt in my mind that you know your way around computers. You know? John Kelly Profiler at gmail.com. That's it. Well, listen, you're the boss here. It's up to you. Uh, Right now, a lot of people are very interested in you. Uh, They want to see exactly uh, what you have to say about this whole situation. They want your side of the story. And uh, you do what you want to do. Okay? That's the bottom line. And I know it. I can't make you do anything. I can't control you. But you do what you want to do if you'd like to do it. If you'd like to do it, then you do what you want to do. Okay? That's it. You want to take care of yourself? You want to end this and get this straightened out? Or do you want to keep on and 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 know that there's no uh, end in sight? All right, again, you're the boss. You do what you want to do. You know, if you'd like to uh, get in touch with us, please do. Thank you. Think about giving yourself up. You don't want to be hurting other people. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've had my say to the killer. I'd like to see him turn himself in. Um, You know, I mean, I I don't want to see more women getting murdered. I don't want to see more children losing their mothers. Um, It's just why I got involved in this early, early on. And uh, hopefully, uh, 
you know, this fellow is going to do the right thing and turn himself in. You know, it's certainly up to him. He's the boss here. He's in control. He's in control of all the information he wants to give. And, uh, you know, I, all I can say is uh, hopefully he moves forward on it. So at this point in time, I just want to thank you all for tuning in today for my message to the killer. Uh, hopefully we hear from him. Hopefully he wants to do the right thing. And, uh, you know, he likes, uh, you know, getting in and, and getting and taking care of it. And uh, maybe he'll want to do it. You know, uh, can't make him want to. He has to want to do it. So that's that's all I have to say today, except thank you so much for watching. Truly appreciate you. Uh, we thank you so much for your comments. Please feel free to comment on this. Please feel free to continue to uh, subscribe. We love your subscriptions. We can't thank you enough for your subscriptions. And, uh, you know, just most importantly, stay on your toes. Stay safe. It's rough out there. Okay, there's a lot of violence. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Thank you.